As an administrator in Intellifront, the dashboards overview here shows me the three dashboards I already have. The logos on them show me two are native or created within Intellifront and one is an imported Power BI dashboard. I want to create a new native dashboard now. So I'll click on the plus here, select Intellifront dashboard. First, let's pop in a suitable name, Sales Analysis Dashboard, as I want to visualize which salespeople are hitting their sales targets with which products. Next, where is the data going to come from? So I choose Sales Analysis Data here, and that also saves my progress. Now I can compose my dashboard, so I click Build. In the builder now, and first I want a card style layout for the salespeople. So let's select that from the toolbox here on the left. Next, the cog icon brings up the data options here. I'll specify which data series I want to view as sectors. So that'll be the last name of the salespeople. Now I'm prompted to add the key data for the card here it's the order totals field and we instantly get a preview of each last name with their corresponding order total now i want to tweak my salesperson series as i don't want to see them all only the top five performers so let's make that active and choose top n that's off by default so i'll switch it on and then I want the top five salespeople showing. So that's set up now. Next, I want to add a spark line showing a mini data line of the individual orders. So let's set the argument for that and configure to show by order ID. And that's immediately updated in the preview. I'll leave that as is and go back to the card icons and switch from the data cog to the options wrench. Here I can turn off the card captions, which gives me more room in the layout. Back to the data cog, I can add in the sales targets to compare with the order totals on the cards we already have. So first, let's select our existing cards with our order total sum data. And here we add a target data source. So we bind the sales target field and choose the max summary. Now I use the back arrow and next we'll look at the spark line options. So I can change the view type to my preference. I like the original line. Let's now close the edit menu for this card and look at the full preview. And here I see my top five salespeople with their order totals compared to the targets. Next, I'm going to add a pie chart to my dashboard. So I click on the icon and a space is made on the right here. Again, I use the data cog first to select the data I want to show. Here under arguments, the category name is added alongside the product name to segment the order total values that we select at the top here. On to the interactivity icon below the cog and I'm going to clean up my pie chart by switching on the drill down feature so I can go from the category overview down into the product details. Next I'll use the wrench icon to bring up the options for my pie chart and let's change the style to put some air in the middle. And I'll remove both sets of captions to give myself lots of space. Closing down the menu, we go back to our dashboard preview and next I'll insert a chart. So let's use the icon here and then click for our usual options. Add an argument and a value order totals by order date, and then choose the type. There's the common types, but this icon at the end brings up all the options available. 
The area chart is what I'm after. Now a hidden measure I want to summarise by the maximum values of my order dates. Back to arguments and I can now choose to order by that hidden measure. Closing off the option screens and over to the wrench, I'll turn the main caption off and on the horizontal x-axis we could add one here but I don't need that. Finally, on the vertical y-axis, let's remove the grid lines and the title. Back out again, let's look at the overall layout. The salesperson's cards would sit nicely across the top so I can select it and then cut and paste into place. Yes, that looks good. Another tweak here, under interactivity, I'll add the multiple filtering option, which we'll see in action in just a moment. Lots of changes made there, so up to the dashboard menu to save. Let's try out the dashboard now by moving from designer mode into viewer mode. So I can filter by each salesperson by clicking on their card and then see the product categories on the pie chart and click on a category to drill down into the individual products. I use this back up arrow to come back out of the drill down. So looking at King and then Fuller, moving up to Devolio, I could switch on the multiple filtering that we set up just now and I can now add in Leveling and Peacock to view the combined results of my top three performers. Just one click on the remove filter button clears those filters for me. I'm happy with how that's working, so let's close the dashboard designer and go back to the main setup page. I'll add a description for my dashboard, sales analysis by salesperson and product categories and determined who is going to be able to access the dashboard. Here, that's the user group. I'll now save and close to go back to the dashboards overview. And there's my new native dashboard called Sales Analysis, sitting ready to use.